Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So in the previous video, we have discussed how we can create the exchange queue and how we can bind both of them using the routing key and how we can send the message from the publisher to the exchange and then finally how this message is, is routed to the queue. So everything we have discussed in the previous video. In this video, we are going to create a simple Spring Boot application and we'll try to do the necessary configuration so that we can connect our Spring Boot application with the RabbitMQ. So without any delay, let's get started for it. And now let me try to go to the IntelliJ and let me try to go to the file. And here you can go to the new project and simply you can create a Spring Boot project. So let me try to go to the folder list and select the type as Maven and let's say this project name is Rabbit MQ with a Spring Boot. Okay, now go next and you can choose the necessary dependencies like I'm going to use the Lombok and this is the web application so we need spring web we are not going to deal with the database so we are not going to use the database drivers and the jpa things now we need to use the rabbit mq so for that we have one starter dependency which is spring for rabbit mq so you have to include it just click on it create and then open a new tab so just wait for a few seconds it will start downloading all the dependency that we have added there and once it is done what we can do we can start creating the configuration class and try doing the configuration for it okay so in the configuration what we'll do we'll try to create a queue exchange and the binding and for that we need to uh, do some of the bean creation so i will try to show you how we can do that Okay, so let me try to open this go to the source main and Java so this application is not loaded as a Maven type you can see here we are not able to see it so let me try to close it and reopen it again so go to the file and open recent go to the first one which is rabbit MQ with the spring boot application this is what we have created now just wait for a few seconds here it will prompt us to load as a Maven project you can see just load it and this time it will try to load as a Maven try to download the dependency and then we'll see there is a error in my IntelliJ that is why I'm getting these things so you can see now it is good and before going there let me try to go to the pom.xml and try so those dependency so here you can see we have the spring boot starter amqp so what do you mean by the amqp it is a advanced messaging queuing protocol so this protocol is used by the rapid mq to uh, deal with the messages okay now go down you have the web and we have the lombok right so these are the dependency that we have included now go to the java and go to this package right click on it and we are going to create the configuration class okay so just you can create one package called config and there we can create one class called rabbit mq config okay just add it and this is the configuration class so we need to annotate this class with at the rate configuration so that it can be detected as a configuration and the application context can create the bean of it and assign itself so those things will be done taken care by the spring boot now we need to uh, create couple of beans so we need to create the queue we need to create the exchange and we need to create the binding so for that we need to create the beans here okay so let me try to create couple of things here so let's say we are going to create the queue and the queue name is queue okay 
or RMQ, something like that. RMQ, or you can also say rabbit MQQ, rabbit underscore MQ underscore Q. Similarly, you need to create the exchange and the routing key. Okay, so here we need to create the exchange. and routing key underscore key let's say so the exchange we are going to create is rapid mq exchange and similarly we have the routing is a key as a rabbit mq key or you can say rabbit mq r underscore key so these things we have created now we need to create the bean for it so just create bean and create one method which is creating the bean for the queue okay so just try to remember that you choose this queue which is coming from the org dot spring framework dot am qp dot core not the queue from the util or client mpq mqp so you need to be conscious while you are choosing this so you need to uh, choose the queue which is coming from the spring framework dot amqp dot core so just include this and let's say the method name is queue and it is returning new queue okay and we need to pass the queue name here so just copy this and pass it here similarly you need to create the bean for exchange so public so let's say there are a couple of type of exchange in the previous video i have uh, shown you showed you there right so there was a direct exchange there was topic exchange fan out and others were also there so here we are going to create the direct exchange as of now so just you can see this direct exchange we are going to select which is coming from the spring framework dot mqp dot core so just select it create one method and then try to return the bin of direct exchange and here we need to pass the exchange so exchange similarly we need to create the binding okay so how we can bind the queue with the exchange so we need to create one bin for the binding and we need to pass the queue and the exchange and then we need to bind it and return it so just create one method called public binding and you can see this binding is coming from stream framework dot mqp dot core select this and let's say it's a binding and we need to this should be returning a bean so just annotate it with the bean and here we need to pass the two parameters one is q and second is exchange so our exchange chat type is of direct exchange so we are just passing the direct exchange here as our argument and now we need to bind and return it so return new binding or you can also use a uh, binding builder dot bind so just try to use that binding builder dot bind and we need to bind the queue to exchange with the routing key so just bind this queue to direct exchange with the routing key so we have the routing key as a uh, let me try to use this routing key and that's it now 
why we are getting this error so let me try to so we need to pass this queue here so just paste it here and we are not returning new so we are just using this uh, binding builder method which is taking up as a uh, queue and exchange and with the help of the routing it is binding both of them and then returning it so this is how you can create the bin of queue direct exchange and the binding okay so this is about the configuration now let me try to run this and try to see if we are getting any errors or not if we are not getting any errors that means we are configurations are good so you can see our application is up on the port number 8080 without any error so our configuration is good now in the coming videos we'll try to create the producer we'll try to create the consumer and then we'll try to produce something that consumer can consume so this is about the video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks